here I wanted to show how the L3 coil and the L1 coil interact with each other. Here I have a top load on the L3 coil with a alligator clip to help offset it. The top of the L3 coil is going to this heat sink that's on the L1 coil. Right now I have that primary disconnected. No batteries or no capacitors. Right now I have it grounded out on this piece of aluminum molding on this old pool table. Right now it's running around 790 kilohertz. Rather weak signal. Then over here I have another coil that's real close to the same dimensions as the L1 coil. Still strong enough to make this LED flicker. can be adjusted by moving the L1 coil or the L3 coil further away from the L1 coil. Then if I remove the L3 coil from the circuit, I'll lose everything. No signal at all now. Reconnect it. Right back to 790 kilohertz. It's about the same as when the exciter's running with the battery. And move these coils further apart and show how they interact with each other. There's still a signal, but it keeps popping in and out. 